Well, whose line is it anyway? Is back. Josie Lawrence is here now. Back on stage. Back on stage. Back at the Palladium, which is the last time I saw you in I 2001. Know. Can That's you believe true. it? That's true. That's true. You were doing a beautiful Mrs. Anna. I was doing Mrs. Anna and the King and I, and you did a charity thing where you did the Shall We Dance. I did, and I was rubbish. You weren't. You were brilliant. <laughs> and you shared... Um, you, you had Elaine Page's ball gown. I did. Mine, well, you could have camped in mine, <laughs> really. You... But you could camp in all yeah, of them. Yeah, that was could. the thing about those big dresses yeah. and the King and I. That's the last time we met, so it's a nice link. Gosh, it I'm is. Back at the it's gone right round in a circle. Yeah. Is it just like riding a bike, going back onto this show? Do you, or is well, it a bit skinny? Re remember, I do do it every week at the Comedy Store. That's Dan true. Patterson, the producer, saw me and, and Paul Merton with the Comedy Store players, and with, oh. we're in the Guinness Book of Records. With you were mentioned last night. Oh. I thought a researcher was in. We do a game called... Um, <laughs> Um, who am I? Where somebody has to leave the room so they can't hear and they have to guess that they're the, a, a weird profession and the audience choose it. And last night it was the person who makes the fur for the twin ventriloquist dummy of a giraffe that's owned by Lorraine Kelly. Per God, and did anybody <laughs> get that? They did, they did. <laughs> They did. Amazing. As soon as they got the clue for Lorraine, they said, Lorraine Kelly, you see, ah, you're the most famous Lorraine. Well, I don't know about that, but that's, I think that's brilliant. Yeah. You've still been doing it, and it's so... Is it still as competitive as it was? Is it it's, still... it's never competitive, that's the weird thing. Um, uh, because th things like Mock the Week, I think, is very gladiatorial yes. and very competitive. No, I couldn't do Mock the Week. I think that's very... I think you have to be a, a great wit and a, a stand-up, which I've, I've never done, you Yeah, know. but you, you can turn your hands no. to anything you with see, if. To me, I, I treat it like an acting exercise. So oh. I'm with a team of people and I'm playing silly characters. Right, gotcha. But the thing is, the whole point of improv is that we do help each other out. Right. So if one of us is flaying a bit... Then the other then one's then right in there. The other right. one's right in there. Gotcha. The main key is to never be embarrassed about anything you might do. <laughs> and with whose line is it anyway? I mean, I love it. It's my... My yeah. favourite job I've I've ever done on telly, really, because it's yeah. it's given me so much, you know. So thank you, you know, Dan Patterson, and Mark Levison. And you, do you ever short of words? So you, do you ever have that moment where you think I, I don't really know where I'm going now? So if somebody help no, me. No, I I don't know what it is. If I was to look, I mean. We did it at the um, Adelphi last year, and so there's thousands of people out there, and you look through the little chink, everybody's pacing, which is like their yeah. nerves coming out. Sure. You look through the little chink of all these people, and you think, if I think about the fact that there's 2,000 people out there, all paid, and I'm about to go on stage and have a clue what I'm about to do, then you'd have a nervous breakdown or you something. Would. You it's would. It's best just go on there, open your mouth, and see what comes out. And, and it's, it's <laughs> amazing, because we haven't done it for ages, but... Then we, we did the, the live theatre show. And it was like being a rock star. Yeah. It's a really good evening. But we have to let people know that it's only on for 10 days, 14 performances, because last year it was only on for 10 days and people thought it was on for longer. Ah. So there's a whole rush so at it's the only, end. Yeah, so it's only 14 days. And could it come back to telly? I think it could. Would I you think want it could. It to? I mean, the American version, uh, yeah, it goes on and on. So we've got Greg Proops and, and, and Brad and Colin Mockery and, and a guy that works there called Jeff Davis, who I've never met before, but he's gorgeous. Oh, nice. That so that'll helps. be fun. That um, Jeff Davis is on. <laughs> and, uh, of course, Clive Anderson's back. Yeah. And if it did come back to England, yeah, it would be nice to do an occasional one, but there's so many younger brilliant improvisers out there mm. now and I think it'd be nice to introduce a new generation. Yeah, but they could, you could have you guys and then you, they we could, could come in the as well. could have the oldies and the youngies. Are they the, the mature? The, the mature, experience. The mature. The experience. The experience. Do you know, we have to say happy birthday to you. I know. It's, it's your 21. Birthday. You're I'm 21. 21. Our you know, Jack's got you a big bunch of flowers. Oh, my God, thank you, Jack. <laughs> oh, I love Jack. Jack's just got married. I know. I know. Everybody loves He's Jack. He's still glowing. That'll change. He's still glowing. He's got that post-honeymoon <laughs> glow that he has, which is thank absolutely lovely. Thank you so much. <laughs> Not at all. You enjoy. Keep them in your dressing room and I enjoy will. everything. When does it all kick off? It, it kicks off on Thursday, so Thursday. come and see us. I would love to. I would love to. Too. Yeah, I wouldn't wear the big frock. No, don't want to wear the big frock. But it's so lovely to see you. And Thank you. you. Thank and you, you so much.